Hello, I am Henrik De La Torre, and I am a student at the California Academy of Mathematics and Science. The subject of this discussion will be the Norwegian heavy water sabotage. Picture this, a group of spies blowing up a secret test facility on a mountain. The spies parachute out of a plane, ski down to the foot of the mountain, and then stealthily climb up the mountain and blow up an evil test facility with some expertly placed plastic explosives. The thing is, this wasn't some action movie. This was a real event in history. The Norwegian heavy water sabotage. In this case, the evil secret test facility is a German heavy water production plant. Heavy water is a water molecule that has a larger than normal amount of the hydrogen isotope deuterium. Why is this important? Deuterium and heavy water is used in the production of a nuclear reactor for nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons that, in the wrong hands, in example, Nazi Germany's, could cause massive destruction. The courageous rebels that blew up this evil facility were not specially trained secret agents, but rather regular Norwegian men fighting for a cause that they believed in. These rebels fought against the oppressive Nazi occupation in Norway, which was truly a reign of terror. See this quote by one of the rebels, Joachim Ronberg. And the darkness came in over Norway. You, you, you suddenly realized that it was not the same Norway you had the year before. To understand it, you need to have the experience of being occupied. To live in an occupied country is the most distressing thing you can do. The destruction of the German heavy water plant was not the end of the fight, however. A few months after its destruction, the Germans rebuilt it and began production of heavy water again. When enough heavy water had been created to be shipped back to Germany, the rebels took action again, making the incredibly hard moral decision of weighing some lives against many. The rebels blew up the transport ship full of heavy water and civilians. So was the sacrifice of these civilian lives worth it? What if these events had never happened? In response to these questions, we have to look at the first sabotage. The Vermork hydroelectric plant was not entirely destroyed in the first explosion, only the actual production chambers. So while it delayed the production by a few months of rebuilding, it didn't necessarily stop it. Were these months of borrowed time valuable? I say yes. In the short amount of time after the plant was rebuilt, it produced half a ton of heavy water, approximately 10% of the required heavy water to create a nuclear reactor. Had the plant produced the heavy water throughout the entire months that it was closed, it could have potentially created enough to fuel a nuclear reactor. So if the sabotage had never occurred, the Germans would have been much farther in their research on nuclear weapons, potentially creating one and using it against the Allies, ending the war and placing Hitler in control of everything. The oppression seen in an occupied Norway would be widespread, and Hitler's reign of terror would have continued. So was it worth the civilian casualties to set back Germany's heavy water production? Yes. And were the sabotages as a whole vital to the world as we know it today? Definitely.